why build this as a as a full fledged sovereign Cosmos SDK chain? I mean, you know, like you could conceivably conceivably build this as an L two or um, yep. like you know build it using partial set security. Yes. I mean. Are there reasons, sort of technical reasons, why you need the full sovereignty of the app chain, the validator set? Like, are the validators providing Oracle data or, you know, something like that? No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So um, the biggest part of it is just having um, flexibility, right, in terms of, like, I, I would say there is, there, there is a unique sovereignty, right, to having a distinct layer one chain, your own validator set. Um, I can't really get into all the technicals because I'm not as, like, well versed in that, but the general idea just being that um, even at a blockchain level, we are passage is not by any by any means right now um, anything novel, right? We're pretty close to vanilla Cosmos SDK chain, right? So, um, but in terms of the fruition of this, keeping uh, our options open, keeping us as agile as possible, um, the amount of uh, customization and optimization that we can do specifically for 3D. And this is what I think is really unique about Passage is that there are so few other people um, integrating real ownership of 3D assets. There's a lot of like, you know, hey, you own your character, right? But really, you don't. What you own is like permission in a permission system um, to have access to a permissioned asset through your permissionless asset. So your permissionless asset gives you permission in a permission system to use this character, right? So <clears throat> absent the game, the permissioned game, you own nothing, right? You just own, you know, a couple of numbers on a blockchain. So for us, the goal is really ownership of the 3D assets themselves, that, you know, the, the raw binary data of the FBX, the textures, the, the elements that go into the 3D asset, the rig, um, the animations, that all of this stuff would actually be owned by the end user. And I, I can't speak you know, entirely on the technical side, what goes into optimizing the chain for moving and leveraging this type of data, um, for building out you know, indexing for this type of data and things like that. Again, oracles and stuff like that that would allow people to um, use this data across different ecosystems. But that's the goal, right? Is that we really do want to innovate in this space and it requires a certain amount of, of sovereignty to do so, to make sure we can optimize for what is a very niche use case, but also wildly relevant in a world where um, people are interacting digitally more and more often.